previous videos, you have already seen that the climate changes due to the emission of greenhouse gases by humans. Nature can enhance this effect of warming through so-called feedback mechanisms. If feedback mechanisms take over and there is no turning back, this is called a tipping point. Compare this to a ball that is balanced on a piece of ground. When the ball is pushed off the hill, the ball continues to roll down. The Greenland ice sheet is a good example. After Antarctica, the largest ice sheet in the world is located in Greenland. Ice sheets are created by snow. This is called accumulation. The snow can be compressed to ice by the pressure. This can create a thick layer and gravity causes the ice to slide. At the edge of the ice sheet, the ice melts or breaks down like an iceberg and floats into the sea. This is the end of the ice sheet and this is called ablation. The boundary between the accumulation and ablation zone is called the equilibrium line. The ice sheet does not grow or shrink here. The higher in the atmosphere, the colder it is. This also applies to the ice sheet. Therefore, there is accumulation higher on the ice sheet because here it is colder and therefore snow falls. The edge of the ice sheet is lower so it is warmer there. Therefore, the snow melts here and the precipitation that falls here can fall like rain. The Greenland ice sheet was created when it was much colder. The equilibrium line was much lower at that time, which created a large ice sheet. Due to the natural variation in temperature, it became warmer and the equilibrium line became higher. The enhanced greenhouse effect makes it even warmer and the equilibrium line rises even more. Because there is more ablation, the ice sheet flows faster, making it less high. The major problem with the Greenland ice sheet arises when the entire ice sheet falls below the equilibrium line. Then there is no accumulation zone left and the ice sheet will melt in a very short time. This is called a tipping point. Then, due to the enhanced greenhouse effect, the temperature has risen so much that the ice sheet no longer grows and will melt completely in a short time. Whether this can happen with the Greenland ice sheet and whether this could happen within thousand years is still being researched, but if the Greenland ice sheet melts completely, the global sea level will rise about 7 meters. Some glaciers in mountain areas are already expected to have reached the tipping point and will therefore melt completely in the future. This tipping point example shows that it is very difficult to predict the impact of the changing climate on ice sheets. It is clear that it is getting warmer and that it is accompanied by melting ice sheets, but many ice sheets need more research to find out at what rate this is going.